Well, if you're heading out today to kick off your holiday shopping and you've got kids on your list, you're probably on the hunt for video games. Last year, the industry bought in more than $18 billion in sales. That's billion with the B. And with all the new releases hitting the shelves, adults need to figure out the best and most age-appropriate choices. So joining us now is John Davison, VP of Programming at GameSpot.com, a CBS interactive website. John, good to have you here this Hi. morning. So many choices for people. Oh, yeah. Um, and now, just so parents can feel like it's a little bit safer, there is the, uh, the ESRB, which has their ratings and, and you know, fully disclosed on, on all the gaming packages. We'll start with E for Everyone. Anybody who's seen the commercials always hears that at the end. What would be your pick for uh, for a game that's E for Everyone? So for, for families with younger kids, um, there's a Sesame Street game out for the Xbox yeah. this year, and it uses the Kinect camera that they're promoting a lot lately, which yeah. can, can see you. Um, it's called Once Upon a Monster, okay. and it's a game that actually encourages parents to play along with. So you're playing in the Sesame Street universe and playing through the stories, but like mom and dad and the kids can just stand in front of the TV and play together and the monsters are talking to you. Sometimes they get so mesmerized they forget they're oh, actually yeah. playing a game, yeah. huh, which is actually great. Um, it, when this would be the game you would recommend for, for all the young ones out there? Yeah, I mean, particularly if you've got kids that are sort of, you know, that are just getting started with video games, like, you know, sort of four, even four, five-year-olds can get, the, get their hands yeah. around this pretty well. That's awesome. Okay, um, next we've got uh, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, which is rated E10+. Yeah. What exactly does the E10 plus mean? So this is um, when the content is a little bit edgier, but it, I mean, it's still, it's very safe, um, but you know, there'll tend to be some combat involved in these games. So The Legend of Zelda is like this big, epic adventure game, and you have, you know, a sword and you're fighting monsters, and it's, ba you know, it's, it's the latest in a franchise that's, that Nintendo have been producing for, oh God, years and years now. I mean, we all grew up playing Zelda on yeah. the Nintendo Entertainment System, so this one just came out for okay. the Wii. Um, and yeah, so I mean, this is a game that you can sit down and it, it can take you 30, 40 hours to get through this thing. And is that the thing that's most enjoyable about it for kids? I mean, is that like the kind of the next step of, oh, I want that because I can actually sit there for 20 or 30 oh, yeah. hours? Oh, I mean, this huge quest and there's so much to explore and a ton of stuff to find in this game. Yeah, and that just came out on the 20th of November, so that's uh, that's a great one yeah. for kids. All right, the next uh, rating is T for teen, and your pick is GoldenEye 007. Yeah, this is actually another one that's based on a, on a Nintendo game that was very successful a while ago. It's based on the on the movie. Mm -hmm. um, it's been updated for the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Um, it's a James Bond game um, and you're playing as James Bond but also there's, there's characters from the movie in it. So Daniel Craig is doing voices. Um, he's voicing Bond in this. Yeah. Um, it's sort of a spy game so I think uh, particularly for parents that are a little worried about their kids really wanting like the, sh the big shooters this year and we'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah. Um, it's a little safer. It's not as it's not as bloody. I mean you're still running around and it's a first person shooter game but um, I think for, for parents that are a little uncomfortable Comfortable with this stuff. This, this is maybe mild, mild killing. Yeah, we'll say. <laughs> mild killing. But it's a way to ease your ease yeah. your sort of self into that comfortably as a parent as yeah. much as anything. Well, you know, it's good that they still find James Bond cool as well because yeah. I mean I yeah. think James Bond is is where it's at. Let's talk about uh, what you were talking about. This one receives an M for mature, and you talk about having the entire world buzzing. This is making some big time money, and that is Call of Duty or yeah, Modern Warfare Three. Yeah. The others have been huge. This one is just this is bigger it's than just, movie openings. Yeah, I mean uh, they. They said before it came out that they thought it was going to be the biggest, in terms of revenue, the biggest yeah. event in entertainment history. And its first weekend, it did, uh, I think, $600 million in Incredible. revenue. I mean, so it's like, you know, bigger than movies. But this thing, I mean, like, is, if, if video games has, like, an event movie type, you know, yeah. this is it. The Call of Duty franchise, it comes out every year. It's called Modern Warfare 3. It's actually the eighth Call of Duty game that's been out. It's been won every, pretty much every year since the beginning. Yeah. Um, and what is it about? What is the, the, the big, I guess, the draw here? So, I mean, there is a single player experience where you're, you're sort of playing through a story, but the big draw really is going online and playing against other people. Oh, so okay. you're playing in teams and you're shooting each other and there's team-based objectives and stuff you have to go through. And as well as it being a bit violent, so I think some parents, they may be like, oh, you know, I'm yep. not sure if I want you shooting. Um, but also the online environment is something that, you know, particularly you've got teens that want to be in on this. You have to be aware that, you know, people are on the voice chat, they have the headsets on yeah. and they are cussing each other out. And you, you need to be aware of that if your right. kids are going to be playing. That's why it is M4. Mature. John, thanks so much. Pleasure. Good to see you. Happy holidays.